I don't, I, I don't know. I, okay. I don't know what to do with my hands in the beginning. And I like to go and make this little weird noise before I say good freaking morning. Welcome to Nick's Fort. My name is Nick. And today I'm going to show you how to sort thousands of photos super quickly in Lightroom. If you are new here, I'm putting out videos every week. So please feel free to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. This method is simply rating your photos with stars. So any program with a star rating system is gonna work with this method. And I understand that this method is not news for many people, but when I found out about this approach, it blew my mind and saved me time. Okay, so this, this is fabulous if you don't know it yet, okay? All right, so we have five stars to work with here and we're gonna do five passes over our photos. And with each pass, we're gonna narrow down our selection just a little bit further. And this tutorial is gonna be chocked full of analogies. So make sure you get your analogy hats on. Okay. All right, for the first round, we're rating our photos with one star. So if you press the one key on your keyboard, it's going to give a photo one star, boom. And you can see it saying set it to rated to one star. You'll see it down here in the corner, set rating to one star. All right, so when you press one, you got it selected. I'm gonna use my arrow keys to tab between the photographs as I go, okay? This is a simple step. Just ask yourself, is the photo awful? Complete trash, yes or no? If it's not awful, it gets a star and then you move on quick, 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 quick. You know, are the person's eyes closed? Is it blurry? Is there anything awful, you know, in this photo? Nothing that's complete garbage gets a star, but you wanna just look and go, look and go. And so as you go through, you're just gonna keep moving. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And before you know it, you're gonna have sorted through the first set of photos, stars, no stars, super simple. All right, now that we've done the first pass with a single star, I'm gonna go ahead and click this down here and say filter based on rating, one star only, and that's gonna filter out all of the photos that got a no. So we had 523 photos, now we're at 287. And the question now is, does this photo look decent? Of course, you might have hundreds of usable photos, but we really need to narrow it down in this step. So as you work through this pass, you wanna to try to cut the photos out that are around the really good moments. This is gonna be different for every shoot, but imagine this is your practice squad. You know, you're not on the professional team, but you made the practice squad if you get two stars. As you do that, you wanna just keep moving through two stars and do it pretty quick, but you know, just ask yourself that question, does this look decent? and you might, have, you might have shot in different locations or something like that, and you kinda wanna, you wanna get rid of the stuff around the edges that doesn't look that great. All right, so now we have done our second pass and we've filtered our photos out to two stars or greater, and now we've seen all these photographs twice. And at this point, you've probably seen a couple photos that you think have some really good potential and you really like, and you have your eye on them, and this round we're gonna slow it down a little bit. This is the step at which your deer photos make it to the pro team or not. And if, if you're working with a client, this is the, the line where you'd show a client a photo or not. If you're hustling for your Instagram game, this would be the moment you ask yourself, would I post this on Instagram or not? Honestly, honestly, would I? Would I post this on Instagram or not? Honestly, if it's, if it's an honest, honest yes, you click three, you hit three on your keyboard, you send it into the three zone. Okay, take some time on this one, but you do need to keep moving. Stamp a three star rating on the lucky photos that make the cut. It's pretty quick still, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, am I actually gonna potentially really actually use this photograph? And if it does, boom, three. All right, now we are on to the next round and I'm gonna filter down to three stars or greater. So only 30 of 523 have made it to three star level. So we've really narrowed down our selection. So at this point, you should be getting down to a smaller percentage of photos based on your original mount. And listen up people, now we're giving four stars and that's a big deal, folks. A four star photo is like bringing your girlfriend or boyfriend to meet your parents, okay? If it gets four stars, it's on that level. But it might still not work out, but it's really up there, okay? So when you're reviewing these photos, if the focus looks off, take the time to zoom in and check it. If you aren't sure how the shadows look, you know, take a take a second and pop over to your development tab and lift them up and see what they look like. Don't get caught up in editing the photos. 
but make sure that these bad Larrys are ready for the big leagues of photo editing if they get the green light. Okay, so now we're gonna take our time and we're gonna choose wisely. All right, finally, here we are. We are going to filter down to four stars and we have narrowed it down to seven photos, okay? And at this point, you know, we're here. The selection of the ultimate winners. Um, this stage is slow, thoughtful, and engaging. And honestly, all the four star photos are gonna make the cut for Instagram posts. Uh, and if it's for a client, you're definitely gonna be reviewing all your four star photos with your client. The five star photos are basically like the elite of the elite. These are the photos that I'm gonna put on my portfolio, the photos that I'm gonna make prints out of and hang up on my wall, uh, the photos that are going to go into my books and on calendars. So at this time, I'm gonna take some time to play with some Lightroom presets and looks and edit them a little bit. And actually, side note, guys, if you're interested in checking out some of my Lightroom presets, the links are below on my website. You guys can check them out there. I would encourage you to play with them and you can pop them on your photos and get some looks out of that too. Um, thank you if you do check them out, I appreciate it. Before you take off, if you dig it, if you like this video, please give that thumbs up, a clickety clackety. Please drop a comment below. I really enjoy engaging with the comments and responding and stuff like that. So I'll do my best to get back to you and, and start a conversation. If you aren't subscribed, obviously it's free right here. You click that, you're subscribed, boom. I would love it if you subscribe. If you turn on notifications, you'll get notified. And um, geez, I think that's it. I think that's it. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.